Hello, this is George Simmons with MLC CAD Systems from our Dallas office. I'm going to start with showing uh, the new dynamic trim function and uh, I'm going to create some geometry here just to have something to trim. A couple lines in here and that looks pretty radical. So until that we're done there. What I want to do is go to the dynamic trim function here in the modify gallery and you'll notice that right off there's uh, instead of breaking it out into different modes all these modes are in this one function so we can trim one entity to another entity we can trim two entities together um, trim three entities I'll, I'll go through here and show you you can set it to trim or break or auto uh, just like always in auto you can single select your first entity single select your second entity and it just trims the one entity to the other entity let me undo that we'll go back into dynamic trim uh, with it set to auto also I can pick the first entity with one with a single mouse click and then double click the second entity and it trims those two together so they share the same endpoint um, that's what makes them a, a chain of entities uh, let me undo that and we'll go back into the dynamic trim function uh, trim two entities trims both of them together I like using that one a lot trim three that's a good one a lot of people stay away from it because it just doesn't work let's say I want to trim this line and this line together and this line and this line together so if you pick them in this order one two three it doesn't do what you want it to do so, so what I'll do is undo that and we'll go back into dynamic trim again I'll have got it set to trim two in it three entities I'm sorry I, I trim pick the outside edges first and the piece you want to trim it to last the middle piece last that works really good trim out the, you know select your outside pieces first and the middle piece that you want to keep last works real good that way um, dynamic trim uh, the divide function I really like that especially now that we got the, the ability to click and just drag that mouse through all of those tag in pieces that are sticking out there I can make quick work of that anyway the new dynamic trim uh, should help you uh, be more productive and trim up your wireframe entities in, in one function right there so 